June 4th, 2011. Still waiting on summer. Summer is long overdue, about two months now. Well, hello out there. Okay, on this video, I want to cover the weather situation here in Central California. Okay, here's the weather map for June 4th. And this is a radar-based map for the same day. Now, here is the climatic graphs for nearby Sacramento. But since this image is not clear, you know, I, I, I'm going to have to buy another scanner. I have reproduced it. Now this shows the average range of maximum and minimum temperatures. That is basically daytime and nighttime temperatures. And those curved lines show the average temperature for those highs and lows. Here I have plotted, and you, you can see where I plotted the, the, uh, the maximum daytime temperatures. Uh, some of these are weekly and towards the end it's, it's every other day but you can see the currently down trending maximum temperatures it's supposed to be getting hotter you know if currently the, the it's equaling the average daytime temperature for mid-march two and a half months ago early springtime for California normally okay now this one shows monthly rainfall as you will notice, little or no summer rains. Now, formerly, those rare June rains, I mean, really rare, would is responsible for that 0.1 inch you see here for June. Now, starting with April, monthly rainfall totals have been rising, the exact opposite of climatic norms. You know, in my city, about an hour south of Sacramento, so far in June, we've had 1.75 inches of rain. This is 17 and a half times normal. June rain is, it is within the range of normal variation, but not four days of rain and one and three quarter inches total rainfall. Not to mention two years in a row. Last year was similar, not quite as severe, but it was very similar. This year, so far, storms have been increasing in occurrence in April and May. Now, in the past, storms would become fewer and weaker and peter out altogether by mid-May. By the, by the end of May, graduation time, you'd be roasting, and you'd be glad that you do not sit, you don't have to sit there in the classroom anymore. Those last two weeks are always a major pain. Okay, let's look at June. Sacramento has had three days of rainfall this month through the 5th. You know, but in my city here, there's been four days so far. You know, I, I got s soaked last Thursday. As for any of you out there who are the hate-filled deniers, no, you can't say, well, it's just normal variation. I have lived here for over 50 years, so I know what the normal variations is. So I know what the formerly p very predictable weather patterns were like. And what we have so far is way outside the norm. So, unless you have lived here for 
at least several decades, you don't know what is normal for here. So don't try to tell me that, you know, like you're some kind of expert. Unless you're from here, you don't know. I've been here long enough to know what the pattern is like. Now, the pattern started to go wacky about 15, 20 years ago. But for the last 10 years, it, the pattern has just been blown all to hell. It used to be very predictable. Mediterranean climate. The Romans chronicled that. That's where the phrase march coming in like a lion and going out like a, like a lamb. It was absolutely true where I live. The march has have tend to be kind of like that, but it, it lingers. The, the lion just lingers and lingers and lingers and lingers for months and months and months. This weather may not kill like a tornado or a flood so it doesn't make the headlines it doesn't make the national news but it is extreme weather just the goddamn same because it is just far out of the ordinary I'm sorry but climate change is here bye